Hi, this is Raggy Horner, and thanks for joining me for a Raggy Report tutorial. Today I'm going to talk specifically about what we're looking at this morning with the rally in the dollar index, which you can see right here on your chart. We're traveling up through the 200 period simple moving average. Uh, more importantly, we've broken 76. We found support at 76 yesterday, and now we're actually looking to try our hands at 77, another major psychological number, another major double zero hurdle. And the reason for Forex traders that it's so important to look at the dollar, I hope is somewhat obvious, especially if you've heard me talk about the Forex show or the Forex, mar Forex market pulse in the past, is because part of the most popular traded pairs, half of each pair, is the U.S. dollar. So when you look at the majors, the Euro U.S. dollar, the British pound US dollar, US dollar Japanese yen, you look at the US dollar Swiss franc, okay? Very popular traded pair. What about com dolls? The Aussie US dollar, the US dollar Canada. So when you look at these, these, these pairs that we all trade every day, part of the equation is that dollar. So knowing what moves the dollar and what the dollar in turn also moves, which will be the topic of another tutorial, uh, later probably this week is very important to forex traders we can't bury our heads in the sand when it comes to the importance of futures contracts especially the dollar now why is the dollar heading up so strongly and, and what's the relationship that i want to share with you in terms of two markets when we look at the dollar we're going to jump on over to what's known as a continuous contract of the electronic dow so now we're talking about what's a, what's a mini electronic Dow. And this is also a futures contract. Take a look at how we're moving very sharply lower today on the Dow. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at the Dow futures or if you're looking at the index. Either way, you'll see this weakness coming into the market. Later on, I'm also going to actually write an article about the bear flag that I think is also setting up on the daily chart of the Dow and the YM Dow futures contract. So strong Dow would mean a weak US dollar. But in this case, we've got a weak Dow, which in turn is giving us a strong US dollar. Why? Well, the reason is risk appetite and risk aversion. When people are willing to take on more risk with the expectation of a higher return, that higher return allows them to justify taking on risk, right? the expectation of that higher return. But when they don't feel that they really are in a situation to expect that higher return, they'll start looking at more what we call safe haven or refuge plays. Another way to confirm this would be, would be to look at the XAU, the gold. And the gold chart you see here has been finding consistent support along the 20 period simple. Okay, we're actually starting to move up again. Concern, as long as the world is, is having the concerns it's having, I don't see gold really just selling off anytime soon. Although, and again, I should probably keep this the topic of another video, I do see a transition in gold perhaps into some congestion, which does not automatically mean I see a sell off, but I do see some more volatile, wide range, more sideways price action coming in the future based upon the way we've been bouncing around between basically oh, 1750 and, and about 1920. You can see the volatility of the candles is, is, is much different than the climb we saw up from about 1500. So very different uh, price action psychology up here. But again, the bottom line today is US dollar, US dollar index, is very strong. The Dow is selling off, arguably towards the uh, support of a bear flag, which means at some point I do expect that support to be broken. So it's trading down towards the support of a bear flag. Let me just give you a little look at this bear flag here, since I have mentioned it a couple times. So if I'm going to be looking at this chart and I want to identify what a flag is. Number one, it's simply, in, in many ways, just a wide short 
channel. Here's the resistance, here's the support, so it's a wide short channel. Okay, And this is, by the way, occurring in what is still, I think, very much a, a downtrend. Let's take a look at the 34 EMA wave. So could this bear flag really just be setting up a continuation of what has been the dominant trend since the end of July? Perhaps. Perhaps. So that's what we'll be keeping an eye on. And of course, if the Dow breaks down, what's that going to do to the U.S. dollar? It's going to send it up even higher. So is there a good argument being made here for the dollar index really starting to find maybe at least a very wide volatile range or maybe even starting to get bullish? It's probably a pretty good argument for a, a bullish dollar index right now. Yes, the U.S. market isn't doing great. Yes, there's all sorts of debt problems, and you can probably pull out half a dozen reasons to be a bear on the dollar. But currencies are a relative strength game, more so than anything I've ever traded, and I've traded all of it. It's a relative strength gain. It's not a matter of whether the dollar is strong because of its own technicals and its own fundamentals. It's also a game of, is it stronger than the other currencies that people are watching? Right now, the dollar is looking a whole lot better than the euro. Okay? Right now, the dollar is strengthening against a lot of other pairs, or a lot of other currencies, because of what's happening in the equities markets. Even take a look at something like the Swiss franc. It's able to maintain some, some strength over what is arguably one of the strongest currencies out there right now, which is the Swiss franc. But yet the dollar is still able to gain on that. Why? Because the central bank, the Swiss national bank, has intervened and made it very clear that they're going to defend a peg of 120. So when you look at that euro Swissy, a 120 euro peg, they're defending it very well. In fact, we're actually above that right now. So are there reasons from a relative strength standpoint the dollar is doing very well? Absolutely. But again, my point here is what will keep the dollar continuing to strengthen? And, and part of that argument is looking at what's happening in the Dow and what could be potentially a breakdown through a bear flag. So we will be watching that uptrend line very, very closely for a breakdown because I think that could really send the dollar index solidly and, and, and very swiftly through uh, 77. It might do that anyways. Okay? I, went, I meant to actually draw a straight line, but you guys know what I was talking about, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you as always for joining me. This was a Rogi Report tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.